Hello everyone, Steve McDonald, Tennessee Junior Golf Office. Wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to get registered for the 2014 TGA Junior Tour season as a new member to our association. If you already have an ID and password uh, from being a member in previous years, we have another tutorial on our YouTube page, also linked it on the bottom of our homepage where you can take a look at the best way to register that way. But again, this is for those players that do not have an ID and password yet. So first step would be go to our website, tgajuniortour.com. Right in the middle of our homepage, you'll see a big red button that says 2014 member registration. So click that button, and it will take you to the blue golf side of our website. That's the service that runs all our tournament administration. And you need to select I am a new member and then click next. And it will pull up our online application. So let's work our way through the application. I'm going to fill it out as myself and go over some of the key points. So first name, last name. And then it says golfer's email. We need to put an email in this slot that that you look at regularly. All the information on the tour will go to this email, so be sure whether it's yours or whether it's one of your parents, be sure you, you put a valid email in there uh, that uh, someone views often. So I'm going to put my work email in there. Looks like it's auto-filling it for me. Finish it out here. And it asks you to verify that. It asks for date of birth. I'm just going to make up one here. The male or female. Then the next one talks about the first year orientation slash member packet pickup. All first year members of our tour uh, must attend one of these classes. So there's Plenty of options there for you, and if you need more information on them, there's a more info button to the right that will pull up a spot where, where you can click a link and pull up our page on our website that talks about all our rules clinics. So, so be sure to take a look at that. So those are mandatory for first year members. So I'm going to select one of those, and the next one talks about what was your first full uh, year as a full member. So that would be this year, so we'll select 2014. And then the next one is your Adidas golf shirt size. Uh, all full members of our tour that uh, pay the membership fee will get an Adidas Pure Motion golf shirt in their member packet. So um, just select the proper size. We have men's, ladies, and then youth boys and youth girls, so be sure you select the right size. Then the next bit of information is just some um, address information and some important numbers. So I'm going to enter Golf House's uh, address here. Work my way through this as quick as I can. Uh, primary region of state. Um, so just select the biggest or the city that's closest to you or region. Uh, of course, we're here in Franklin, so I'll select Middle Tennessee. We use that for purposes of monitoring kind of where our members are coming from. Then I just ask for some phone numbers. So I'll put in some mock phone numbers here. Then there's a place to put in a phone number if you'd like to receive texts. So we text various things throughout this uh, season. We do text your tea time, maybe text some updates on um, any suspension of play at some events. So. Uh, I would definitely recommend to do that. You know, be sure you check with your phone carrier too. They may charge extra for that, but it's just a basic te text message. Uh, it is not a mandatory field. All mandatory fields are the ones that are highlighted and have an asterisk out to the left of it. So all those must be filled in. All right, so average nine or 18 hole score and division are the next two buttons. Those are important because that's gonna help us in figuring out um, which division or whether you signed up for the proper division. So I'm gonna put a, an average of 75. 
And then here's all our different divisions on the tour. Let me scroll down so we can see them all at once. So we have a, a bunch of different options in here. It can definitely look confusing uh, to those members that are new. If you need help with determining the proper division, uh, out to the right of the button that says help, if you click that, it'll pull up a box where it will link you to all our division information on the Junior Tour on our homepage. So you can certainly uh, look through that, figure out what the best division is for you. A couple uh, more important points. If you want to be a full member of our tour, play all our summer one day and, and two day events, you must select a division that starts with boys or girls, gives you the age range, and then masters, tour, or micro. That will give you access to every tournament uh, that we conduct, just as long as it has your division there. So I'm going to select boys 16, 18, masters. And then as you work down, it's just some more um, personal information from you. So ask for uh, emergency contact. I'll put Lissa's name in there. She's the director of junior golf for Tennessee. Works in this office. And I'll put some more mock numbers in there. But be sure you put all the proper information in here. There are times when we may need to contact you if a slot opens up in the tournament and you're on a waiting list or we cancel a tournament uh, for some reason. It's always good to have good phone numbers in there. Again, all the fields that are bold and have an asterisk are mandatory. These four that talk about first and second parent email, uh, if you want to get the information sent not only to the golfer's email but another email, definitely put it in there. I would definitely recommend to do that so everybody gets the, the same information. Next mandatory one talks about the local newspaper. The reason we ask for that is we like to send the results out for all these events to all the papers. So we just be sure that, that we have them all covered. High school graduation date. Um, be sure to put the proper one. And then it asks for the school that you're attending in the fall of 2014. Be sure to put that in there. I actually attended Centennial High here in Franklin way back in the day, so I'll put that. And then primary golf instructor. Uh, the reason we ask for that and make it mandatory is uh, we, we always like to reach out to all the coaches in the area, uh, be sure if they have any more members that or more students that want to be a part of our tour uh, so we can reach out to them. All right, and uh, that's the only man mandatory fields in there. The last two talk about your GIN handicap number or your handicap index. Um, if you do not have one of those, please leave that blank. Um, the system checks for duplicate members based off of what, what goes in those fields, so just be sure those are left blank um, if you don't have one. That would be great. So once all that information is filled out and uh, it's all correct, you can click Next. Then it will pull up some options of a membership level that, that you want to have for the year. Again, if you're going to play any of our summer, kind of our major tour tournaments, along with our multi-day events in the summer, and to be eligible for all postseason, you need to be a full member of our tour. If you have questions on the different levels, you can certainly uh, put your cursor on these question mark boxes to the right of each of them, and, and it will give you more information on what those actually are. Uh, but for this purpose, we're going to select a full member and click Next. Then it's going to pull up the seven events that are actually open right now for, for registration. All our other events don't open until April, um, and there's a whole process to go through for that. So as soon as you get registered and want to get updated on that, I would go back to the website, uh, go up to our Policy section tab, and it will pull a drop down menu and it will have some um, different pages in there that talk about the application process and tournament registration so, so be sure to check those out uh, tournament registration week is uh, week of April 14 through 18 but we do have some events open now these are all spring weekend events um, if you need more information on them just go to the website right on the home page on the lower right hand side 
there's a column that talks about all our spring events with some links to each event, um, which, which will give you some more info. But here's where you would register for them. You can always go back in and register. Uh, as soon as you complete this and are verified, you'll get an email back with an ID and password. And that's what you take to go back in and get registered for these spring events. So we'll select next. And then it now asks you if you want to upgrade your Blue Golf account to a Players Club account. It's kind of a more in depth profile that you can have on Blue Golf. You can keep track of your stats. You can put in outside rounds. Um, they also have a where you can connect with other members that are also Players Club members. You can communicate, you can message them, um, and then you can also upload some swing videos as well. Uh, maybe some college coaches would want to look for that so, so they can look for that on your profile uh, if you have this kind of upgraded um, part of it. It's an extra $20 for a 12-month subscription. So we're going to select no and then uh, select next and that's going to ask for some credit card information um, I'm not going to go through this process because I don't want to charge any cards here um, but this is the second to last screen so as soon as you put in all the proper information and click next it's going to pull up a summary of all the things that you selected that you want to charge so it's going to select your membership the hundred and five dollar fee and then any other tournaments that you would like to play in. Um, once the summary page pops up, you, you still have to click register so they know to charge your account for that. So just because you get past this credit card screen doesn't mean that you're done. There's one more screen where you have to click register. Once you click register, then you're done with that portion of it a box will pop up and say thank you for registering your application is currently pending and that you'll receive an email from us once it's been verified and that email will have your ID and password that you'll use throughout the year to register to get into your profile once you're verified go back to the home page of our website and there's a member login box right under where we clicked to go to this registration page that'll pull up your profile and, and you'll be able to go in and um, kind of update any information that you need to. And then when tournaments open in April, that's how you'll, you'll register for those as well. So that was a quick uh, tutorial on how to get registered as a new member. If you have any questions, you know, don't hesitate to call us or email us here in the office. Best phone number is 615-790-3336. Or email is tnjuniorgolf and junior spelled out at tngolf.org. Hope to see everyone this summer. Thank you.